Hi loves, it's Shonda, how are you? And welcome to Shonda Says. If you watch Shonda Says, you know I've been on hiatus, yes. I need it, honestly needed a little break. I've been overworked, overrun, I've been tired. I haven't even been on Twitter as much if you follow me at Shonda Says on Twitter. You see I've been kind of MIA. But I needed to take some time and recharge and just refuel and get reinvigorated. And happy to say I'm back. Even though today it's rainy, sometimes the sun not being here can kind of zap your energy too. So yesterday and today I live in New York, so it was rainy, but still I had to get on and do my job. And I've missed you guys. So I want to talk a little pop culture. I, I don't want to say names because I don't like to blow people up. But if you watch this particular series, you know what I'm talking about. So I thought it would be good on this Monday because on Mondays, as you know, if you watch Shonda, I like to do inspiration and, and think about, you know, have you guys thinking food for thought and something to take away, you know, into your daily lives. But anyway, I was watching a particular Housewives, okay, show, and these housewives were at a party and one of them said oh this has a bunch of twitter people here and i know twitter people when i see them and basically this particular person in my mind in my eyes had their ass on their back as my mom would say and if you're old school you know what that means it means Kind of like you're high and mighty, or you're looking down on people, or you're being a snob. So I got to thinking, you know, these shows, and we watch them, and we complain about them. But it kind of you're kind of drawn to the nonsense of it, and I'm guilty of it. But, you know, it bothered me to hear her say Twitter people. Because looking back at this show and how you start and the friendships that you've had, Everything is totally annihilated because money and fame has come in and ripped everything to shreds. And I find that people forget the struggle or the sacrifice it takes to get somewhere into a place of success. You forget your tact and you forget your humility. And that's what I wanted to talk about. You know, we watch these shows and we look at the women and we, you know, even on Twitter, People will know that certain women in this business act up and behave. And all you'll see on the Twitter or, or you see people making comments is they just jealous of you. You look good. You be shutting it down on the shoes and stuff. There is more to us than shoes and appearances. You could slap a dress on a pig. It's still a pig. Now, I'm not, gonna, I'm not saying anyone's a pig, but I will say this. I don't like when people forget how they got somewhere in life. You're only as successful as the people that helped to get you there. And quite frankly, it's the Twitter people that got you to where you are. So even now in your own life, if you've gone to a certain place in your life and you've set an example of accomplishment and success, even within your own family, do you ever find yourself looking down on others in your family? Or do you find yourself feeling like you're better because you've gotten to a place of accomplishment? Everything that we have and that we work for, we always have to remember the humility because that's the part of us that grounds us. That's the part of us that realizes as blessed as you are, it can be easily taken from you. So with that in mind, Every success, every victory should be appreciated, should not be taken for granted. And you need to thank the people that help you get there. Because stars are not, you know, a person that becomes a star, it's because other people have co-signed you. If it was that easy, we'd all wake up and be stars, okay? But it's got to be something about you that people love and they supported you and they got you to this place of success. So you can't get so high and mighty that you forget the people that have gotten you there. You know? So I just kind of wanted you guys' opinion about it. If you saw what I've been talking about and how you felt about it. Like, it bothered me. Now, you know, 
I've been working a lot on Shonda Says. My website is being done, and so is my image. Um, this great guy, Huey BB, shout out to him. He is working on my logo, and um, I just, I love it so much. And what he did was he did my face, and it's, I just love it. It's, it's just so Shonda. I can't wait to show you guys. They're finalizing the um, fonts and all that stuff. So I'm looking forward to sharing that with you guys and other great things, but... Oh, I needed this break, but I'm back. I love you. Be back here on Wednesday for sex and relationships. And again, follow me on Twitter because I happen to like my Twitter and love and appreciate my Twitter friends. I don't have followers. I have friends. But I love you. God bless you. And we'll talk. Bye-bye.